there is a little bit of a lens flare, but I like the way it looks and I'm lit, so I'm happy. <laughs> Hello children, I just got back from watching Guardians of the Galaxy, volume two, this is the second one, and I thought I would just do like a first impressions video on, since everything is so fresh in my head, I just thought I'd do a first impressions on my initial reaction to this movie, no spoilers, my initial reaction and just some of how it's different from the first one. So first off, it's more emotional. It is more of an emotional movie than the first one. I think what they did was they didn't want to be The Hangover. They didn't want to be the same story, you know, the same people, the same characters, the same motivations, and it's just round two. They did, you could tell they did not want to do that. They were nervous about coming off as Oh, it's the same thing all over again. You could tell, and they went into this, you could tell in, in the writing, they didn't want that. So some of the things that end up happening differently in this movie is it goes to a, it doesn't get darker. I wanted it to get darker, but this is Guardians, this is Marvel. And they're appealing to like a movie audience, you know, a more mainstream movie audience. So we're not gonna get that. So I don't even know why I want it. I just, I'm gonna give up that hope now. But it didn't get darker. It didn't get. It didn't get darker. It just got. It, it was a. It got tearful. It got sad. It's like a, te a tearjerker scene. That something something happens. I don't want to get into it. I'm not spoiling anything. But it went to that place and it it got sad. So in this movie, you're going through a range of emotions. You're laughing a good chunk of the time. You're sad. You're happy. You're anxious. And it's a long movie. This movie's over two and a half hours. And through the whole movie, and I'll say this with the pacing, it got pacing right. Because it never felt bogged down. It never felt slow. And to get the pacing right, two things need to happen I've noticed in movies. The writing needs, the writing, it needs to be like a solid screenplay. And then the editing, the editors need to do their job when they're chopping up scenes and when they're cutting and you can see that some scenes got moved for the better though in the movie you could tell that some scenes like I, there was a scene in the third act that got moved up and I was like that's brilliant because it, it just it made the movie so much stronger so that's two things that I've noticed baby Groot in this movie is a thousand times better than adult Groot in the first one. It's, it's, he, he was just better. He's funnier, he's a comic relief. He, he's just more entertaining in this one. So Groot kind of steals the show where Rocket Raccoon stole the show in the first one. So you, you've got that going for you. A little bit of the negative, I did think, I thought, and this was me, I thought that they pushed they overused comedy in this film. I thought in the first one, there was a lot of comedy because it was setting tone. It, you know, it, it, it's, it's a comedy movie and it's a jokey group of, you know, comic book heroes. In this one, it felt like they just kept pushing that narrative when they could have just been, you know, telling a story or, or pulling at a different emotion, you know, maybe, you know, going a little deeper. But no, they, they push comedy. I thought, and I still feel that way. For me, it didn't appeal. Like, they could have just gone into storytelling. However, when I was noticing the other reviewers in the early screening, they were loving it. They loved the consistent comedy. They loved la laughing for big chunks of the movie. They ate it up. So even though for my personal writing style, I would have liked to have seen them you know, not cut, well, yeah, cut back on the com, you know, the comedy device and th give me another emotion and throw in a different type of writing. It worked for the crowd. So I think their theory was, look, it ain't, it wasn't broke. We're not fixing it in the first movie. We're continuing that in the second. And it, it really did work because people were just laughing their ass off. And I was just like, oh, come on. Like, did we need that? <laughs> did we need that? But they were laughing. So obviously it did work. Like I said, this is two and two, over two and a half hours, and you are entertained the whole time. There, there is no, oh, there was this, you know, ten minute break. Oh, there was fifteen minutes. Or, uh, no, they did a really good job with the villains 
and with the action scenes and with the, the, the story kept moving forward. They did a good job of that. I think there were some things in the comic book I want with Gamora and her family. I was hoping they would throw in this movie. I'm not gonna say what it is yet. Again, we're staying with some spoilers. It didn't come, that didn't happen. I'm wondering if they're saving it for part three where they'll give us that nice showdown, probably. But I didn't get it in part two. I thought maybe in part two they would build up some of it and then it would cascade over into three. It didn't happen. It's okay, but <laughs> I would have liked it. Uh, Rocket, Ra Ro Rocket Raccoon kind of takes a backseat to Baby Groot, I feel like, in this movie. A little bit. I, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else can I turn? I feel like Dax, Dax got, he got, he, he got, he got better standing in this movie. We saw more of him. Dax the Destroyer. I was happy for that. My problem is, you know, a lot of these characters aren't, even Star-Lord, they're not one note characters. They're not, he's not just funny. And he, he's not even two notes. He's not just funny and he's not just a, a premier fighter. There's a lot of good backstory with him. I would like to see them bring up. I have, we, you didn't see it in this movie. You didn't see, we didn't see it yet. There's still a three. So, you know, but my question is like, what the hell are they waiting on? But overall, and like, this, like I said, this is my first impression. Overall, this is the movie to beat <laughs> this year. This, so far, I thought it was Logan. Logan was a, Logan was a comic book movie. But this one, and Lo Logan's deep, Logan's everything I like. Logan's deep, Logan goes to a place, Logan's storytelling. But this one is, is a, this is, this is an adventure movie. This, this is an action movie. This one so far is the one to beat. <laughs> Do I think it will break Fast and the Furious's record? Cause I think Fast and, the Fast and the Furious stole the record from Star Wars. I don't see why this wouldn't. If, if Fast and the Furious could pull in 534 million, there's no reason why this one can't pull in 570. 570 million. Depends on the international market. I do think this will do better with the American market, the American nerds, than Fast and the Furious did. The question is, are there enough nerds to propel this movie? I think so, I'm, I'm gonna take that gamble. But I would have liked, like I said, my, my biggest thing is I would have liked if they had pulled back on some of the comedy that, that felt just a little bit thrown in and they gave me like a different emotion. Cause you're getting 10 different emotions. You're, you're gonna get upset, there's like a tear jerker scene. You're gonna laugh, uh, you know, the villain's gonna make you pissy. You're gonna get anxious, you're gonna be annoyed at some part. So you're going through a good range of emotions. I would have just liked a little bit more of a narrative, a little more of a storytelling, a little bit more of a, cause that's what people don't understand. Guardians and Watchmen and X-Men have some really good backstories. X-Men, you don't see it at all <laughs> in the movies, but Watchmen is no one, no one's beaten that movie. Uh, they'll never, they will never beat that movie. But Guardians can come close if they just, and I always said the first one was amazing. The second, the second one's good too. It's just, it's just, they can't be, it can't be the same movie. That's why we're not comparing first versus second. It can't be the same. So I just would have liked if they gave us a little bit more story time. My theory is this, and James Gunn is coming back for the third movie. I think the third movie is really gonna, it's gonna give, give you some stuff from the comic books. They can't, they can't ignore it anymore. So I think a lot of stuff from the comic books that we're, we were hoping will be in this one is gonna throw into three. That's my theory. But this is just my first initial impression of this movie, and it's well worth your money. I think a lot of people are gonna to wanna to see it twice. I think that's gonna help ticket sales. But I don't think Fast and Furious, you wanna sit through more than once, but I think this one, you would want to. It's, it's just that damn good a ride. And even the after credits, you think it's done. And again, this is like a two, a two hour and 30 minute movie. You think it's done and it's still going. And I, li I like the way they did that cut. I, I like that super cut. So 
Because is it over? Is it not? I, I like that. So, so my first impression is it beats Fast and the Furious by a lot. <laughs> and this is the movie. This is the movie to beat. This is this is it. This is the movie so far this year. This is, it's going it's going in my top movies. But this is this is the movie to beat so far. This is it. It's gonna it's. It's gonna be between this and Star Wars, so this is the movie to beat so far. And this, uh, you know, I think the the Star Wars filler uh, filler movies tend to be better <laughs> than the Star Wars theatricals and the music. They always come up with this nasty, disgusting, beautiful. I love 70s music, so they always come up with the perfect soundtrack, and they've done it again. They did it again with this movie. So this is the one to beat. Get your get your ticket money ready. Go go order pre ticket. Go pre order your tickets because it's not gonna be. A, you're not going to see this the first week without pre order tickets. But uh, this is the one to beat, and it's, it was it was a ride. I think you'll like it. So that's just my first impressions. So this is just my first impressions, and you'll have a proper review coming. Probably be up in a couple. Probably be up in a couple of days, a day or two. So let me know what you think. Uh, what your initial impressions were and just let me know maybe you're basing it off trailers that's cool but let me know what your initial impressions are this is gonna be a hard one to beat to go the greatest show on earth live long and prosper take it bye thanks for watching poke 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 poke